Alright, so just wanted to finish out the video and show you guys the final products in hand again. And this is the Ultra Boost with that crazy, really, really weird print uh, all over. And it kind of reminds me of like Infinity Gauntlet and just all sorts of colors like that. Then the Air Force One for the kid. I think he's really going to like these ones. They're just super colorful. And I think these ones actually came out really well. So I think, again, there was a couple things I did wrong. One, I should have recycled the water. I'm always... I always don't want to have to empty the water out when I'm doing this stuff and if I can do multiple dips at one time then I'm going to do it. In fact I actually did both of the kid shoes at once if you saw just both like that and it actually worked out pretty good. There was a little bit of sections where I missed out completely like right there on the back. From a distance you can't really tell but up close you can see that there's like right here there's like little micro dots right here that uh, are like kind of on the shoe. If you guys actually have an, an idea of what is causing that leave a comment and let me know. Uh, I have a feeling it's just because of the activator spray being left in the water. But these ones came out really dope in my opinion regardless. I mean it's a homemade thing and it looks kind of cool. And then the Ultra Boost, there was a couple things I didn't really like. My tape job wasn't 100% good on the shoe. On some parts of the shoe like right here, it just was taped too uh, low and so you could see Boost right here instead. Also I don't think I sprayed enough activator on this to make it really liquidy. I noticed it wrapped a little bit. Instead of like a hydrographic dip, it was kind of like a foil. It was just weird. It wasn't typically the way it's done, uh, especially for the ones that I've done in the past. Also, the other thing is that I sprayed on the sealer on this one as well, and I think that I should not have done that. I think it dries out the print and actually shrinks it a little bit, and then you get little gaps like the bubbles like right here. But 
I mean, ultimately, it looks okay from a distance. Like, I think it looks kind of cool uh, from, like, here. Uh, but up close, it doesn't look as good. The other thing is, if I would do this over again, I'd probably do this on a black upper instead of the white one. The white one just looks too plain, I guess, with all this vibrant craziness down here. It would be cool to have something up here as well. So I might do some boosted stripes here and then along the heel cup here to give it some extra pop. But uh, I like the way they came out nonetheless. I mean, it's just, I wish I did a better job at doing them. Uh, I can always use acetone and remove this and then try again and see how it works. And finally, the Crocs. These things were not very good at all. And partly because I've done a couple failed attempts on these Crocs from other prints that just did not work on the croc material. As you can see, I did a camo one, like kind of in the here, and I didn't um, tape off all of this inside here, and I should have. Seeing it like this, now I realize I should have taped everything off here. For the actual print though on the upper, there's spotting, and it's you could see through it and see the other print that was underneath this uh, because I didn't clean it up perfectly. So because of that, it is a little bit sloppy, as you could tell, but from distance, it looks pretty cool. It's just definitely kind of wild and crazy. Uh, but I definitely have some errors and issues with this one. So it is what it is. It was fun to experiment on. I can use acetone on this one again and then start from scratch um, if I can actually take the time to prepare uh, for everything. But I might actually do that and just do a perfect dip on this one because I didn't know if it would actually stick on this material. But after doing that now and, and trying to rip it off here, it actually sticks on pretty good if you get the proper dip. So just figured I'd show you guys that. Also, it is probably important to use a sealer on this one, but you should make sure that the shoe is dry before you do it. Uh, but that's three different shoes I tried, and I bought this print on Amazon. Honestly, they had a couple cool prints that I haven't seen on some of the other sites that I really, really wanted to explore. This was one of them. There's a couple others that I want to show you guys as well that I bought. So if you guys want to see those ones, like the video, and I'll start working on some of those other prints. One of them was a rainbow carbon fiber print, which was super crazy. And there was another one that's kind of like this, just super vibrant, uh, colorful one. But if you guys want to see them, leave some uh, love on the video, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. I still have fun trying to do these videos. They don't come out perfect every time, obviously, or hardly ever, to be 100% honest, because it's really hard to perfect. It's more for entertainment and just attempting to create something different and just have fun with it, more or less. So I don't take it too seriously if it doesn't look 100% perfect. It's fun to be able to try to create something, and uh, that's kind of what it's about. Anyway, have a good one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Notification bell to be notified when the videos go live. We will see you for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace, guys.